Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have our first Carnal Map problem. And here we have three variables, A, B, C. And the problem is asking us to derive the Boolean expression for this K-map. So, as always guys, pause the video, give it a shot on your own, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So, the important thing to remember with K-maps is that we want to find the largest group that's a power of 2. So we want to group these ones here in such a way that we group them either 2 at a time, 4 at a time, 8 at a time, etc. So here for this specific K map we can choose different groupings. For instance we have this group here which is a group of 2 and we have another group of two here. So we, we wouldn't be able to group, you know, these bottom three here, right? Because that would be a group of three. It's not a power of two. So it has to be a power of two, and we want to find the largest power of two. So let's call these groups here group one and group two. And the bigger the carnal map, obviously the more groups you'll have and the more complicated the map can get. And so once we have our groups, what we want to do is find the variable in that specific group that doesn't change. So if we're looking at group 1, we see that C changes from 0 to 1 as you go up and down the, the group here. And we see that A and B well, A and B not, since it's a zero, don't change. So we want to grab all the variables that don't change. So for group one, the variables that don't change are B and then B not. They stay the same. And for group two, we do the same thing. We want to find what doesn't change. So if we look left to right here, we see that C remains 1 in this box and in this box. And if we look at A and B, we see that A is 0, and then it changes to A is equal to 1. So we don't want that. But here, we got B is equal to 1, B is equal to 1. B stays the same, C stays the same. So we write that, and they're, they're both 1s, so we write that as BC. So the Boolean expression here, I'll call y, is equal to just the or of these groups. So that would be a, b not, or bc. And that is the Boolean expression. And in the next video, we're going to do some more complicated carnal maps. We'll add another variable in there, make it a, b, c, and d. And We'll, we'll, we'll make it a little, a little bit more complicated to see the different groupings that we can do. And, you know, hopefully that, that'll, that'll wrap it up on carnal maps. So, did you guys get that? Let me know in the comments below. And until then, enjoy engineering.